everyone. Welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Somehow the morning has gotten away from me. I did get a lot done, but no tangible results. I've, it's been a while. I put this, uh, it's been a while since I used it. I put this very large uh, aeration stone. This is a 12 inch stone and it has its own dedicated compressor. Put that in here in anticipation of the 500 plus uh, fingerlings that we're going to put in here. Now I do have extra aeration to put in these other two. Uh, that one there's got quite a bit going in it right now. You can see the the uh, quote unquote hole that it uh, it's putting in the duckweed there. But I have no uh, lack of aeration now. I do need to remove this small one. I can figure out it's got to be tangled up in here somewhere. Or is that the main line? That's the main line. Where? Here it is. Get this guy out of here. And over into that tank. I'm about ready to uh, remove this Kang Kong because I'm just tired of messing with it. If, it, if I wasn't putting uh, fingerlings in here, I would stop because it's just, it makes harvesting the, none of this is going in the pond or the round tank, but because we're going to have fingerlings up here, I, I'm keeping it in this tank, but there's not going to be any in the, in the pond. It makes harvesting the duckweed too much of a pain. So it's getting close to lunchtime right now. Uh, won't be doing anything until after lunch. And we've been invited to Fiesta by the, the Gawad, so uh, that might take up an hour or two. Tata and I will get to uh, bringing in those uh, fingerlings. We are, we are gonna Come hell or high water, we're going to get that done today. Okay, so these fish on this side here have gotten kind of used to being fed. And so we just threw a little bit of feed in there. And uh, Tata's just going to use the cast net to catch them. So this is the one we bought, yeah? The one that had the round ring. So how did you how did you figure out how to do it without the ring? Huh? You dismantled the ring? And so without the ring it works just like a regular cast net? Yeah. Ah. Okay.
All right, so I've got to get some water in this bucket here. I've already got water in this one. I guess I should have thrown that fish there. So why? Why there's so many mini? So we, what we are doing here? We are catching no, we're fish. A, yeah, we're just using a cast net. Cast net. Basig na ay subaunon tay nga dagko kay tay. I told Tata maybe he can get some to grill. I've already got a few. I put them in a different container. How big is that? Uh, the biggest one is maybe like that. Wow, that's very big. Ha! It's very big. I like it. Get away. Posing, Tadri, posing. Apatay na ay daghas ay mong dunita tay. Nge. Huwag may sulod. Gagmay daw na akong gagmay. Rumi yun na sulod. Tatay si daddy that I said there's no he didn't catch any. He said of course because we're gonna catch only a small one. Can you go fill this with feet for us? I just leave it the the cup. Mm -hmm. There is one big one that he Ay la bay tay. Patay na naron. Are you counting? Yes. I will get the feed. Okay, so believe it or not, we caught 200 fing fingerlings out of this near side of the pond that are of sufficient size they, sh they will go into the next cage. Uh, didn't weigh them, didn't count them. The larger fish, got a lot of those too. I don't know, several kilos at least. And we put those in a holding tank. Now what Tata and I are going to do, and Marcel is going to have to help us because she's going to be the one, uh, well, I don't know. The plan is to me, for me and Tata to take this net uh, into the water and bring it this way. And I don't know if Tata just wants to corral them, just bring them down here and leave that net in the water and then use the cast net. Or I don't know if he's made a pocket in this net to uh, actually bring out all the fish. But we've only got maybe 10 of the little one inch ones that I want to uh, save other than the 200 larger ones. Ready? Well, there's our uh, wheelbarrow boat all right so I'm gonna put this phone down and uh, we're gonna stretch that net out and pull it down to here and then Tata I did ask him we're gonna use the cast net from there Jump, Daddy. 
Uh oh. Laka, I really need to love. Lights, it's deep. Or are you sitting down? Sitting down. This is mangosteen. That is mangosteen. I'm gonna move this one. Yeah, we definitely need to get the azolla in this water to feed it. Thanks, boat tank. Yeah. <laughs> the Titanic sank. Banging ship, not the <laughs> Sao din nyo tayo yung balingon ng isda? Galangay-langay, radyo mong duha. Inyo radyo kong galangay-langay. I'm eating... You know what I'm eating today? What are you eating, love? Oyster. You've been disturbing me. I'm eating the oyster. Right? Madaka na tanan. Kagwa. Ang inyong makuha na kanang ko ano Titanic VG VLG. VLG Titanic diri. We need to draw up this slack. Pretty man ang taas atay. Ini unsur mana? Nada ada nebul sa? Tak kau memang kaitu ya di tua? Pastor. Bukat yang batu anak. You catch one. That's one more. Yan, yan. That one. We got the wheelbarrow, yeah. Di arbis datang tilap ya teh. Dah lo ya nih mungkin kalah bantai. Daddy, it's so heavy. Well. 
no traction. And this water is pretty deep right here. Dako man gud yang net didto atay. Di ay. Tanawa gud na iya nag dako na iya hang net didto. Tindog buat nama nak ihan aku ah nak tin nak tak kilit nama nak ihan unsa ni? Tambang. My shorts keep filling up with this swamp gas. Just making bubbles you see in the water. That's methane. What is that? What's the bubbles in the water? All these little bubbles are methane. You. You're funny. <laughs> so you're floating now. I'm standing now. Alright, is that enough, Tate? More. What did I do? Get out of here. Ya, ya nanti kau ada tu. Do you help out there? Hey, you see all these bubbles? Yeah. That's from. Fish trap and leaves falling in the water. And this water is not hot, but it's warm. Yeah. That's why we need to get this done so I can get the azola in here. We learned some things today, and the number one thing we learned is that there's not very many fish in that pond that we haven't already caught. So I didn't even count them, maybe a dozen of the one inch, uh, 488 off of what I wanted. They went in there. We've got 240 of the, of the size of fingerlings that are big enough to go in a cage and um, the larger fish uh, didn't count them either we maybe got four kilos in there and here and we 
We caught less on that side where we had stretched the net in the pond than we did on the other side. There just aren't fish in that pond anymore. So we're going to just leave these larger fish in here. Maybe we'll get some breeders out of it. And we're definitely going to have to save some breeders when we harvest uh, the, the first cage of fish. Not many, you know, 20 or so. Because we're, I don't think, that, you know, it's, it, uh, it's probably enough breeders in there to keep us supplied, but I would rather have an overabundance by orders of magnitude rather than not enough. And uh, from, <laughs> from what I've seen in there, because you, you know, there were no fish trying to jump over that net when Tata and I were bringing it up. There just aren't fish in there. They're small fish, and Tata is going to make, you know, Marcel just told me the Bisayan word for it. He's going to make a fish trap to catch the smaller fish. Because uh, there are, I can tell there's quite a few of the smaller fish in there. We just can't catch them with the cat's net. It's, uh, the holes in it are too large. So Tata is going to make a fish trap and we'll get what we can out of it that way. I also noticed that when I was in the water that it's pretty toasty. So uh, I'm going to start collecting uh, the King Kong duckweed and transferring it into the pond. I'm going to take out half of what's in that uh, tank right there and uh, maybe a quarter of what's in here. Hopefully I can fill up that trash can right there. So we should, I'm going to get to it and we shall see. I got more like a quarter of this out. I have come to the conclusion I need a bigger scoop. That's all I'm going to get out today. I've almost filled up this trash can. I'm going to pack this down to the pond and dump it in and do the same thing again tomorrow. Tantai's still catching fish and he's getting some bigger ones now so I guess the bigger ones were too smart for us. They, uh, they got around the edges. There's no way they could get through the bottom but they just got around the edges. So we are saving those. We're packing them in. I just dumped the uh, Azola King Kong in. I'm tuckered out. I'm pretty much done for the day. So we'll. Just run the shape. Yeah, we'll put put them. We're saving all those in that tank up there, Tante. We we have no fish for sale. In about six weeks, two months, we'll go through that tank and save the best couple dozen for breeders. Yeah. Alright, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.